Hi, what are the best B2B marketing tools to use? We've done a lot of research on the tools used by B2B marketers. I'll show you what we found from that research and then I'll show you the tools that we use for our own B2B marketing. I'm going to show you several lists of great tools that others have recommended for B2B marketing, including HubSpot, Mashable and Marketing Profs. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you the list of 42 B2B marketing tools that we use the most for ourselves and for our clients, and I'll briefly explain why. We're going to show you tools for planning, project management, web, landing pages, optimization, interactivity, social posting, SEO, advertising, list generation, production and generally making things look pretty, emails with or without automation and CRM. So let me show you what we found from five great sources now. Our first article is from Marketo and frankly it's disappointing. This page looks totally like a page made only for SEO purposes, that is they care all about Google and not about us as visitors. As much as I love Marketo, this is not a page for you, dear viewer. Um, the H1 or the heading, level one heading is B2B marketing tools, but they made it small um, because that's what they're trying to optimize for. The text is poor. There's no tools in here at all. It's a silly pitch and a pretty useless page um, made, as I say, only for SEO. So let's move on. Next one uh, from Marketing Profs. Now, by contrast, this is a cracking page. You'll find on this a great discussion around tactics, strategies, priorities, and the related tools that support those tactics. So I'll scroll to the very bottom here. We, well, not quite. We get the list of, tech, of uh, tools that support the tactics that she spoke of earlier, which in turn support the priorities. Good article, I'll link up to it in the show notes. Best B2B lead generation strategies. Well, this article is all about strategies. Now, by that they actually mean tactics. That's a pet peeve of mine. Strategies and tactics are not the same. But for all that, they wrote it about what they understand to be strategies and not tools. So it's no surprise, nor a criticism, that they don't discuss tools. So I'm still hunting for more. The marketing profs list was good, but this one really didn't give me an awful lot. Next one from Mashable. Now, this is only about social, but includes a raft of tools, at least a half of which I'd not heard of before. And that's good. I've learned something. So I'll link up to that in the show notes. Good list. It's only social, but it is useful. And the final one I wanted to share with you is from HubSpot, those prolific marketers at HubSpot. And again, like the Mashable one, it's narrow. It's only really about, in fact, let me get the title here, usability, testing, and research. But for all that narrowness, it's a great list. And again, like the Mashable list, I know some of these tools, but certainly not all of them. So again, I've learned something from this list. Just, I wanted to get to the bottom here because I love these last two. These are usability testing for your website or your application. And this one is the user is drunk. This is a guy who literally gets drunk and reviews it in his impaired state because his argument is, if I can't navigate it when I'm drunk, then nor can your normal user. And then they've got a spin out, same guy, but with a, uh, somebody else involved. The user is my mum. And again, if your mum can't understand it, it's probably poorly designed. Good fun. They're, uh, they're human services, um, but services as a product and for not too much money, you can have somebody who's either drunk or old uh, have a look at your website. Interesting spin on things. I'd love to have time to play with all of those tools myself, but I don't. And because you don't, maybe I can help you by showing you the tools that we use for our clients. Our smaller clients, we actually do the B2B marketing for them. For our larger clients, we just do the training and planning. So let me show you the B2B marketing tools we use ourselves, for ourselves, and for our smaller clients. 
Again, these are the B2B marketing tools that we use for our outsourced marketing clients, plus a few that we use only for ourselves. For planning, of course it's Funnel Plan. Project management, we use a tool called Asana. For web, mostly it's WordPress. We also are starting to use a tool called Insight for personalization, including geo-tagging of, or geo-coding of pages. Landing pages, we use almost exclusively Unbounce and Optin Monster on the web pages in order to get them to the landing page. For optimization, it's pretty much Google Analytics plus Website Grader um, from HubSpot and Optimizely for A-B testing individual pages. For creating interactivity, we use for complex surveys, we use SurveyMonkey. And then for simpler surveys, we use Typeform. It's a beautiful tool. Um, starting to use Servicate. Um, Servicate's a great little tool for popping up some modest interaction. They call it Servicate, but it's not really surveys. It's more modest interaction uh, on individual pages, quite like it. And intercom.io for funnel plan and also for audience acquisition. Really, really powerful tool for managing audience acquisition and uh, use of uh, an application like Funnel Plan. Social posting, using BuzzSumo uh, to find out what's going on and who's influential. Feedly to read great articles and to work out what to share. Buffer for doing that sharing. Missing Letter uh, looks at all of our blogs and creates uh, images and words to use in our social posting. Snipply, if we're posting uh, and sending somebody off to a third party site, we want to bring them back, we use Snipply. For SEO, we're using SEM Rush and Screaming Frog, plus Google Search Console to find out what's actually going on. And Hit Tail, nice little tool that gives you a recommendation list of long tail key phrases. For advertising, 90% of it's Google AdWords, using increasing amounts of social advertising through LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, uh, LinkedIn mainly. For lists, we use Bright Verify for cleaning, Full Contact Reader for card reading, and Lead IQ for pulling names out of LinkedIn. For production and making things pretty, we're using Canva, Photoshop, Adobe Creative Cloud, Grammarly, Camtasia, and more recently, we've switched to Premiere from Adobe for video production, and it's way better, including uh, uh, the loudness of the audio, which a lot of you said our previous videos were too quiet. Fix that with Premiere. For emails, whether we automate or not, MailChimp and Mandrill. Mandrill is a MailChimp product used for volume emails generated by applications rather than by marketing, and we use that for funnel plan. MailChimp for marketing-driven mails. Vision 6, when the emails are slightly more complex. Zoho campaigns for those clients for whom we're using Zoho as the CRM. Strategy Mix for when we need to do really clever automation and complex trigger campaigns. We use that for our own automation and Marketo for our larger clients. Marketo and Strategy Mix are similar tiered tools. CRM, mostly at Salesforce and a little bit of Zoho. Well, clearly before using any of those tools, you need to work out what your strategy is. And that's going to start with setting your objectives, working out what your strategy is, working out what velocity you need, and then choosing all of your tactics not just the tactics implied by the tools I spoke of just now. And to do all of that, the objectives, strategy, velocity and tactics, you're going to need Funnel Plan. You can get a free version of Funnel Plan at funnelplan.com, here's the URL, uh, and the paid version gives you a lot more power, but frankly, start with a free one, it's good enough. Well that's it for this week, lots more lined up for next week, can't wait to see you then. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to Kim Nguyen, an intern who did the research for today's show. Our contributors from Marketo, um, Ayaz Nanji uh, on Marketing Crofts, excellent collection of tools. Marcus Taylor on Venture Harbour, Christina Warren on Mashable, Carly Step on HubSpot. Annika Dobby for your amazing production. My name's Hugh McFarlane and it's been my absolute pleasure to script and present this week's show.